what to expect if you come to Torbay Hospital with a suspected fracture. Janice is standing outside the Cadewell Lane entrance to Torbay Hospital. This is the outside of Torbay Hospital A&E entrance, also known as the Emergency Department or ED. Janice is stood by reception where the staff will ask her for her name, address and name of her GP. If you think you have a patient profile, please ask the member of staff to photocopy it for you to give to the doctor. Cheryl waits to check in at the lower counter reception, where the staff will ask her for her name and address and her doctor's name and address. This is the quieter waiting area in A&E reception, also known as the emergency department. Janice, Sally and Julian sit in the waiting area before being called to see a doctor or nurse. These are the doors to the nurse assessment clinics. These are the doorways for the male and female toilets in the A&E reception area. Sandra is going through the minor injury door to see a doctor or nurse. This is the main corridor between A&E reception, the x-ray department and the A&E nurses station. Please follow whatever colour, red or yellow, you are advised to take. This is the corridor going towards the A&E nurses station where you will see a doctor and nurse. Ian and Tracy have been asked to sit and wait along the corridor. This is the nurses station where you can ask for information. This is the entrance to some trolley beds where people wait to be seen by a doctor and nurse. Tracy does not need to lie on the trolley, she is happy to sit in a side room. There are patient toilets next to the A&E nurses station. This is the sign for a toilet which can be used by both male and female patients. Cheryl and her carer have been asked to check in at the x-ray department. This is also called the radiology department. Tracy is waiting in x-ray area 1 for her x-ray picture to be taken. These coloured lines help you to find your way. The green line takes you to the CT scanning area. The orange and white lines take you to the ultrasound departments and waiting areas 5 and 6 for x-rays. Julian and Tracy are waiting in waiting area 3. This is what some of the doors to x-ray look like. The yellow boxes on the wall flash red to make you aware that it is not safe to go into the room. Cheryl is waiting in the ultrasound waiting area. These are large sized toilets for both ladies and men outside the CT scanning area. This is the sign to show you that both men and women can use the same toilet. This sign shows people in wheelchairs can use it as it is a larger area. This is what the wheelchair access toilet looks like. Tracy is having a CT scan of her body. The CT bed will go forward and backwards into the scanner. The person doing the scan in the control room will talk to you all the way through the scan and tell you when it has finished. If you are very worried, please talk to the person helping you or the person doing the scan. They are called radiographers. You can follow these colours back to the x-ray and radiology reception. Tracy is waiting in area 5 and 6. This is one of the ultrasound rooms where the person lies on the bed to be examined. This can be done by both ladies and gentlemen. This lady is one of the people who uses an ultrasound monitor on your body. This does not hurt but it will feel cold as they use a clear gel to slide the monitor around the area that they are going to scan. This is the monitor used in an ultrasound. This is the corridor that takes people to the fracture clinic or the broken bones department. This corridor and door leads to outside the hospital on level 1. There is a sign above the door to show the fracture clinic and orthopaedic outpatients department. Ian and Sandra are standing by the outside entrance to the fracture clinic and orthopaedic department. You may be brought to the department through here. This is the fracture clinic and orthopaedic outpatients reception where Sandra will be asked her name and address and her doctor's name. 
This is the waiting area in fracture clinic and orthopaedic outpatients. These nurses are putting a plaster cast on Sandra's arm. They are very gentle and chat to Sandra to help her be less worried. The nurses are showing Sandra where to put her arm. The bandages are wrapped around the arm. This nurse is checking that it is comfortable around the finger area. Sandra has chosen a dog paw bandage to be wrapped around her arm. The nurses are putting it on for her. The nurses keep talking to Sandra to check it is comfortable. The nurses are nearly finished. The arm is complete with bandage. This is the corridor that you may be asked to sit in before seeing the doctor or nurse. Sandra is now in the office seeing a nurse. You may see a doctor or doctors who will tell you what they plan to do to get you well. Sally completes the family and friends questionnaire before leaving. Tracy, Julian, Ian, Sally, Janice, Dougal, Sandra and Cheryl are leaving the hospital from the A&E entrance. Many thanks to Cheryl, Dougal, Ian, Janice, Julian, Sally, Sandra and Tracy for their help in making this video.